In 2010, the film crews of Warren Miller Entertainment crisscrossed the globe to create the new film, Wintervention. The unique thing about the Warren Miller film is our opportunity to take the audience to so many places so far away. The final shoot of the season would be the most challenging, an ambitious expedition above the Arctic Circle to some of the world's northernmost mountains. As both a skier and a cinematographer, I've always enjoyed getting a phone call from someone saying, hey, how would you like to go to a very remote part of the planet? And some of the segments I enjoyed the most were the ones where after I hung up the phone, I had to pick up a map and find out exactly where in the world it was. Doug Stapp was leading an expedition to the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen, 500 miles shy of the North Pole. There's this one peak here that no one's climbed or skied. It could be a gem. Joining the crew were big mountain skiers Reggie Christ and Lexi DuPont. We had a lot working against us on this one. We didn't know if the terrain was skiable. You know, when you think of the Arctic, you just think of this big, flat ice sheet. Filming in these remote areas is so difficult. So many things can go wrong. Doug, Doug, yeah. Good to meet you. The crew arrives safely in Spitsbergen, but missing a key piece of luggage. Reggie's got everything except for his skis, um, and they don't know where they are. So, what's the problem? After a 24 hour delay, Reggie's skis arrive, and the expedition gets underway. We're back to winter now. <laughs> We're going to be getting a long ways away from civilization. I mean, once you leave Lonyabin, literally, there is nothing else. As we're heading north and the mountains are getting bigger, we start to see these ski lines that are, you know, reminiscent of what you would find in Alaska. Couloirs with big rock outcroppings, super rugged. You know, we had to pat Doug Stout on the back. It was a stunning location. Get cameras going everywhere. One thing that you're normally not worried about when you're out skiing is being hunted. We were in polar bear country. So we're getting our shots and kind of looking over our shoulders. I mean, the tracks are like this big, they're huge. Now the sun that close to the North Pole never sets. And it got to the point was saying, geez, you know, at 1.30 in the morning, the sun is perfect on that face right there. Why don't we uh, go skiing from 1 to 5 in the morning? Great. Get some beautiful shots. Nice midnight sun. 